Hey guys, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And um, I, as you know, have been on vacation and I've been back now for a little while, but um, I found some treasures uh, while I was thrift shopping and antiquing. And I just thought I'd show you a few of the things that I got that I'm so excited about. So um, many of you know I love to make junk journals with little golden books and I got into a shop and I saw some I had never seen before. And so I'm really excited. Um, this is actually not a little golden book. This is a wonder book. And um, it is a very old Alice in Wonderland um, book. And I was gonna try to find the copyright date, but I'm not seeing it. Um, it says wonder books are on sale everywhere and it has a washable cover I don't know um, I'd be afraid to wash it but anyway it looks very old and I'm excited I also got some little golden books um, that are old that are of Alice in Wonderland too this one's a 1951 um, and so anyway, I, one of the reasons I'm super excited is, um, this is also 1951, is I've got some of the paper dolls and from the Alice in Wonderland collection. I just got them yesterday. I'm going to be playing with them soon. And I was thinking it's going to be super fun to make a chunky junk journal and then put the paper dolls in there too with the Alice in Wonderland. So, um, if that's something that interests you and let me know, um, because these are a Disney thing. I don't usually post these on Etsy, but, um, you know, just trying to be super, super safe. I know they say it's my book and I'm making it into something new and it's vintage, but and I still, I try to be super careful. So if, um, as I'm making these and I'm showing pictures and stuff, if somebody's interested or if you already know, you might be interested in an Alice in Wonderland junk journal as a gift, let me know and I can put you on my list. So um, all you need to send me an email or send me a message, leave me a comment, and then we'll connect. So anyway, there's the Alice in Wonderland. Super excited about that. I'm going to set those to the side. But then again, some of these that I saw are really old. And I think, oh, I didn't even notice that. It's okay. I can fix it. The page is torn. 1946. But look at this. Leave it to Beaver. I was so jazzed. My husband was laughing because I got so excited. And he's like, he just held his arms out to start holding stuff for me. So this one's 1959. I'm definitely going to have to read it before I start um, turning it into a journal. Again, same thing, Rin Tin Tin. Um, I made a beautiful journal out of the little golden egg book um, this last spring, and it sold. But um, I have that one. Look, the Waltons. Guys, I know I'm aging myself, but I could not be more excited about some of these titles. Um 1975. All right, Davy Crockett. I had never seen Lassie. Now, this one obviously had been loved because they put um, masking tape actually over that little golden spine, but I loved it enough that I decided I didn't care. This one was gifted to someone in 1958, but it's a 56 edition. Tom Thumb. Oh, Peter Pan. Oh, another Alice. I think that's four Alices. Jack and the Beanstalk, a different Peter Pan. Yeah, I've made one with this one before too that turned out super, super sweet. That's 89, so it's not as old. Winnie the Pooh. Oh, a Pinocchio. Dalmatians. Oh, and did you guys love the Aristocats? I did. Anyway, I am just loving this walk down memory lane in Snow White. So I already had quite a few little golden books and I've added to my collection. Like I said, some of these um, are additions that I've never gotten to work with before. Um, this is a 1952 Peter Pan. So anyway, I'm excited and um, looking forward to turning these into some new treasures. And then what else did I find? I decided, I have never seen this before, but it's really old and it's a railroad storybook. And um, I just thought the pictures were absolutely beautiful. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. I may just keep it myself and enjoy it. Um, but I thought I'd show it to you because it's so gorgeous. Look at the colors. Um, I think at one point I saw the year on this, but I can't 
find it now so we won't take time doing that but anyway i found that and th these were all um in some different places in florida and then i was at a local um giant uh yard sale it was actually indoors at a church um to help support um haiti and found some vintage trims so this is um they said it was i haven't even opened it up so it was in the tablecloth pile, um, but to me it just looks like some really beautiful lace. And it's kind of in a color that I think is going to be fun for some fall crafts. It definitely is finished all the way around, so it's probably like a small tablecloth. Um, but isn't that pretty? So beautiful there. And then this is a table runner or a I don't know if it runs the whole table, but a section. And I think I would see it's probably for Christmas. It looks like um, maybe a Christmas tree here. But anyway, I thought that was beautiful. Yes, and see the pretty applique, the trees up top. So there was that one. And a couple of other large pieces. And then I got into... Um, just some beautiful lace, some beautiful, it's a large one, doilies. Um, and the prices were just amazing. And I was in my element and having a great time. Look at those tulips. It's an applique. Each little piece has been sewn on. So I'm thinking about sorting through these. Um, look at that. All handmade. Oh, and here's another I think tablecloth. We'll look at this one real quick. But um, I'm thinking about maybe um, going through it and, of course, saving some for, for so that I can use them in my journals. But maybe making a few packs for my Etsy shop, you know, where you would get... Um, look at that. It's a table runner. Um, just a variety of pieces of um, maybe lace and ribbon and maybe some fun papers, things like that. I still have some paper kits in my shop. Um, I've been replenishing them um, as I go, but um, look at that. They're so beautiful. Anyway, if you think that's something you'd be interested in or you think I should try out in my Etsy shop, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think if that's something um, that you would like to see. And then this piece, I couldn't pass up because it was sparkly. And of course, it made me think of silver sparkles. It also made me think about some of the beautiful journal covers and things that Natasha over at Treasures Books has made. And um, I may try to do something a little, diff a little different style with that. I loved that piece of fabric. And then I found a bag <laughs> of ribbon. And um, a little bit different because they're different widths and textures. So I decided that should come home with me as well. Colors that I don't have or work with as often. And then, of course, some standard browns. A gray let's see and I love that piece that looks like me doesn't it and I don't know what this one says oh it says let's play <laughs> oh and some rickrack yay pink so anyway I found some treasures and then even though I bought all those little golden books I've really been trying not to buy as many books because I have that huge haul I got uh, earlier this year and there's still a bunch of them in boxes um, in my garage but I could not resist two more books. This is a Vogue sewing book, and this How to Make Draperies little book was tucked inside. But the paper in here, and of course some of the images are just fabulous. It's this gorgeous ivory color. It's nice and sturdy and thick. And um, look at those swatches. I Talking about colors and patterns, I could not help myself. Um, and decided it had to come home with me, and it was only $2. It's from 1975, so I had never seen it before. I'm very happy to bring that home. And then, let's see what the cover looks like. It's kind of fun, too. It might make a really cool, I, once I gut it, um, journal itself. Um, just a nice, great, big one that I could make with the actual book. And then this is another large size that I'd never seen before, lettering for advertising. And um, it has a lot of natural aging, which I love. And it's 1956. See, see the aging on there? Um, 
But look at this. Ah, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm almost, I can almost imagine making like some different strips and adding, you know, collaging with them, adding different things. I'll make great bookmarks, um, journaling cards. Oh my gosh, I'm just really excited about it and all the different fonts. The most important decision. Um, I don't know. I went bananas when I saw it. So those were my treasures and I, I tried to keep um, my pile, um, some were from vacation, some was from the local shop, but into like one great big shopping bag and I did that. So um, not, not too horrible. Um, and again, found some things I had never seen before. Um, I'm really excited about that Lassie one too. So leave it to Beaver. All right, um, more journals coming, lots of fun things. Please let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. Tell me if you guys like to thrift and uh, yard sale it too. Okay, have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching.